For the words which you gave me, in verse 8, I have given to them, and they received them, and they understood that I came forth from you. And that is the virginal begetting of Jesus. To come forth actually is the word to be born. That's the concept. When you come forth, human beings come forth in the wombs of their mothers. So coming forth is emerging as a baby, you know, to the world, very easily. Coming forth from you. God was the originator of that miracle. Oh, and I came across a silly idea. Somebody was trying to say, well, God must have put something to do with the sperm of Joseph and, and all that. Forget it. Don't even go with that. It was a biological miracle in Mary. And she is a descendant of David, so she is legally then. I mean, he is legally descended from David through Mary. I don't think that's a problem. They want to make problems where problems don't exist. So that's good. Came forth. From you, that would be Luke 135, Luke 135, the Son of God, precisely because of the miracle in Mary. And they believed. They believed. It. They believed that you sent me. Okay, that's an explosive word. To be sent doesn't mean that you were alive before you were born. How do I know that? Because John the Baptist was sent from God. John, that's John 1 6, if you want that one in margin. John 1 6 says that John the Baptist was sent from God. All prophets are sent from God. It's nothing to do with them pre-existing. The people who believe that system will read all that into it. If you wanted the one in John 1, 6 is where John the Baptist is said to be sent from God. John, this man came to Jesus by night secretly and said to Jesus, Rabbi, we know that you have come from God. You get it? Nothing to do with pre-existing. Nicodemus didn't believe that Jesus had come from God, being alive before he was born. It's all virgin birth. In fact, the one in, in Galatians you just quoted is actually coming into existence through a woman. He uses that word rather than just being born.